Hello, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome to day two, a new episode of the FIFA 20 on my team. Road to glory, episode 320. Another fifth of the way through another century. Not that we'll ever make it through another century, but another 20 episodes into the series, past 300. If you do enjoy today, do me a favor and hit the thumbs up button. We've got a big like target today of 3,000 likes. You'll see why as we as we go through the episode, but just, yeah, consider hitting the thumbs up button. Subscribe as well if you're new around here. Uh, lots to catch up on if you are new. And, uh, well, my social media links are in the description as well, so you can find them there. So this is like the weird bit part team that I have put together right now. It's not what I intend to use or anything. Uh, things to note here is that Masuaku ended up getting a draw with West Ham, so I won't be getting a 95 version of him. I will be getting a slight upgrade though to a 93, which I'm still pretty happy about because considering he was like 65k to do from scratch and we didn't do him quite from scratch. You know, he was a very cheap card for us to get and he'll be probably the best left back in the Prem um, for such a cheap price. So that you can't really go wrong there, can you? So we're just going to very quickly start with my squad battles rewards and then we'll jump into live lasty who uh who has decided to go ahead and do uh an icon moments pack which we shall see we shall see i'm curious to know as so as 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 me who hasn't done it yet i'm curious to know how that's gonna go um but yeah from the first pack we don't really get anything i mean these are silver one squad battles rewards so they're just a little something to help the club go we get a player training card and an anchor so i'll keep the anchor because i use them quite a lot uh a thousand coins as well and i'll sell the attributes card for three and a half k so not the worst little 15k pack in the world to be honest or is it 15k pack i think it is right uh, and then we end up actually getting a non-walkout team of the week in the second pack which I know straight away is going to be at least 10,000 coins. So, uh, yeah, because we did, because we unlocked Dan James uh, and got him from squad battles, not only we, did we do that, get a 91 rated card, but we also got like 7,000 coins, two packs, 10,000 coins for the, the discard of the player. It, it wasn't bad, you know. We, we've done all right from squad battles considering we just played for an objective. But hey, let's move over to live lasting. Oh, man. <laughs> We are, we are here, ladies and gentlemen. Background and all, which means I am going to be doing a live pack of sorts. So, Icon Upgrade seems to be a very popular choice. I know that there are many, many of you that think it is a bad idea. Think it is not worth the coins. I am on your side, <laughs> I'm telling you. But I'm also on the side that yes, we are pretty much in August. It would be cool to open up an, uh, an icon pack to maybe get ourselves a cool moments icon player. That's the dream, right? The dream, Zidane, Ronaldinho, R9, any of those like crazy moments ones. Even those those guys in prime would be insane. Um, however, I can't see it happening. In all honesty, I just can't see it happening. So what I've decided to do is icon upgrade... And then potentially Langley, depending on what we have left um, and stuff like that or what we get. You know, let's say you get a moment's Blanc. Do you all of a sudden not need Langley anymore? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I would probably still want him because he does look like one of the best centre-backs on the game. However, uh, this Icon Moments upgrade gives you either a Prime or a Moments, which is annoying in itself. And the price is annoying as well. Considering this right here is what the, it costs to get a, a prime icon, it adds an 86 rated squad on as well to potentially maybe get a moment, but it's still kind of likely that you're going to get a prime, I guess, because they're higher rated right at the moment, so they're going to be more difficult to pack. Um, so, uh, what I've done here is that there were a few players that I'd started to put together for the, uh, the, the Lengley SBC which I kind of want to use in the Lengley SBC because it makes sense for my rating and stuff and helps me with chemistry and all sorts. And chemistry is a little bit more of a factor in Lengley than it is in the Icon Pack. So what you're going to see here is a little bit of me ripping the band-aid off and getting rid of some players that I otherwise would have kind of liked to have kept but I don't really use. So as you can see in the 86 rated squad, we are going to get rid of Prime Cannavaro to get rid of any possibility of me getting another Prime Cannavaro and then be sat in that difficult situation. Um, and then we're also going to get rid of 95 rated Thomas Muller, 
which is, uh, it's just a sentimental card to me. He was very good when we used him, but he is also a three-star skill, four-star weak foot player um, who, you know, it, it's it's somewhat of a challenge to use this player, but his positioning and finishing and stuff was always just so, so good. Um, and he clutched me a few weekend league games, that's for sure. But I haven't used him in a long old time. Maybe there's some sort of objective that comes out where I need a German player and I'll regret this, but I can always go and buy it. We have 900k in the club, right? So we're going to get rid of Red Muller. going to get rid of Prime Cannavaro. Haven't used him since that weekend league that we gave him a go. Very good player. Is he as good as some of the other centre-backs on this game? No. So that's that sort of warrants me getting rid of him. Uh, now, the only player we've actually bought for this squad is the 85 Onana, 8.5k. So I snapped that one up. Uh, that's not too bad because he does sometimes go up to about 12 or 13. Um, and then, so I'm going to actually go ahead and submit this squad right now, I think. Am I going to do that? Yeah. See you later, Muller. Uh, I'm actually more gutted about getting rid of Muller than I am getting rid of uh, Cannavaro there. So, yeah, sad times to see him go. But we could always buy the blue version back. Um, and then for the 88 rated squad, this is once again a little bit more of me getting rid of some stuff that I would otherwise like to hold on to. And that is my two reds. So, Jordan Henderson and Odson Edward. So, the reason behind this is it means that I get to keep, like, my PK and Courtois for, like, good uh, La Liga links for maybe Lengle or whatever other SBC comes out. Um... And so the reason is, Odson Edward, 92 rated Frenchman. I'd like to use him again, but I already have Ribery and Usman that I want to use um, in like a French team. And you guys know how much I've been talking about maybe trying to use Benzema. So I, would, I wouldn't really have space for this Edward. And again, I could go and buy the blue version. It would be all good. Uh, Henderson, good card. I have Genie Wijnaldum, I have Fabinho, I have Pogba, I you know I have Ndombele. I, I have so many Prem midfielders that I would use over this card that I'm fine to get rid of that. And then obviously it helps that I can use, link him to an Allison. We have a Team of the Year version, exactly the same card, um, just a slightly more regal looking card design. So I'll keep the Totty because uh, that's first owner packed as well. Uh, and then this Tots can go. Uh, so I do just need to buy. I think Vela was like the cheapest 83 if he's hopefully going to cost me like 3.2 3.3 yeah there we go we'll get him in um and and that completes the squad so literally i've just had to go and buy vela and onana for the icon pack however i'm not sure exactly what this leaves me with in terms of fodder for for possibly Langley and stuff. I'd have to probably spend some coins in order to get that done. What I would have is a couple of Courtois, a Tots PK, a Tots... Um, who's the Spanish centre mid guy? I can't remember his name. He's 93 rated. I want to say Rodrigo, but it isn't Rodrigo. I don't know. He plays for Valencia. You guys know who it is for some reason. Brain fart happening right now. Um... Right, so I'm going to submit this one as well. You can see that if we just go through the squad, untradeable. Yeah, Giuliano's tradable. It doesn't matter. Untradable Hendo. Um, look at it. Like, it just none of these players particularly matter. So I'm going to get rid of them. I'm going to get rid. Uh, and we're going to do that now. See you later, Jordan Henderson. See you later, Odson Edward. Yes, that's fine. We can get rid of Allison. We've got a better version of him or the same version of him in the club as well. So there you go, guys. I've done the icon pack. Now it is time to see what we actually get. And then afterwards, we'll talk about what we've got to stick into other SBCs. Uh, so I've, I've done that with keeping 935,000 coins in my club. What a sold. What did I actually sell? Oh, training attribute. Got that in squad battles rewards, didn't I? Uh, I can sell all of this stuff on as well, which is nice. We'll get uh, maybe 10k for that stuff. And it is time. So we'll go with the two rare gold players packs. There's nothing really in packs. So if we got a board from these, I'd be absolutely surprised. I'm going to skip through. And I just, I don't know, man. I can't see this going well. I just can't see myself getting a great icon moments. Um, it could happen. Is it going to happen? Probably not. I reckon we come away with disappointment from this in all honesty. But at least we did it for the content for the boys. Um, for, for you guys that are watching there. And, uh, and if you do enjoy... Uh, or your respect and appreciate that we've done this SBC, go ahead and hit me with a thumbs up. I need all of your thumbs up. I'm talking, let's go for 3,000 likes in late June. That's a lot. 
That slice could be the difference between me getting my dream card of Zidane, or Ronaldinho, or R9, and it could to get in like Prime Yashin or Prime Nestor or Inzaghi. I just don't want to see the Italian flag. Every single time it gives me the Italian flag. I've pushed the button, boys. Don't give me the Italian flag. Please. Give me a moment, Brazil. What are we going to get? We are going to get... Oh, no. It's gigs. It's moments, gigs. Oh, dear. That is a fail. Oh, man. I mean, we got moments, gigs. It's a 94 rated card. At least when I shove that into the Langley SBC, it won't... Uh, it, it, it will help us with rating. Oh, dude. Moments gigs. Let me see how much he is on the market. I even kept the Brazilian kit on for Ronaldinho and R9. I knew that was going to be disappointment, man. I knew that. was. We just got rid of a 97, a 94, a 95, a 92, another 92, and all sorts of other stuff for this card right here. Sad times, man. I bet he's 200k or less. Uh, that is disgusting. Um, great footballer in his day. If it doesn't translate to this FIFA, does it? Three-star skill moves, two-star weak foot. 94 pace, 94 dribbling. He'll probably feel okay on the ball. But even with that 93 dribbling, he's got 85 agility, 83 balance. It's just not what you love to see, is it? Um, and yeah, there's, there's just no chance we're ever using him. So he's going to go straight into the Lengley SBC. So boys, what that does is it... It kind of like, at least it gives me the option now that I, I don't think I'm going to do another one of them. That it seems like such a waste. We've done one for the boys, for the content, but I just can't see myself doing another. Unless we are just in like two weeks time, we're just sat there with so much fodder with nothing to do with it that we just want to do another one, which I would be okay with that. But if we take a little look at Lengley, right, it requires the 286 rated squads. Now, let's just go into one of them and have a look at what we've got in terms of fodder. What do we have left now? What have we just got rid of and what do we have that we would be willing to submit? So, there's no longer another Allison there. Would I submit any of these guys? I'd probably submit Promes. I just don't know if I need to. Because the thing is, it's 286 rated squads. So, really, we just need maybe two of the crazy cards and then we can fill it up with like 81s, 82s and we'd be alright. So, I don't know if any of them need to go in, you know. Or any of these guys. So, this is where we start. So, oh, it's Parejo, not Rodrigo. Parejo. All right, finally, we got to that point. Um, so, PK and Courtois. Let's say they could go into this 86 squad. And then Courtois and Parejo could go into the next 86 squad. Maybe you need to top it up with, like, one or two more. Like, I'd get rid of Dan James in an instant. Probably in Didi as well at this point. Maybe even Allen, because I don't really like the card. Um, and, like, I guess, yeah, like, 86. We've got a couple of 86s there, or 186. I'd get rid of Kent at this point. I'd probably get rid of this Douglas Costa knowing that I could just buy him back as well, and we don't use him anymore. I think I've got to be at that stage, where I just rip the Band-Aid off and get rid of. Even such a, a club legend like him... I, I I just know that I can buy him back for like 30k or 40k um, and we just won't be using him again. It's not like a player of the month Neymar. You wouldn't submit that because you can never get that back. But, but birthday Douglas Costa, you can just go and buy, can't you? So uh, yeah, like, I, I think I think we're actually still going to be okay. It's going to cost me. This Lengley costs about 500,000, you know, with the current market, which is expensive. And I think that by using some of these high rateds, I can shave off quite a lot. I wouldn't be surprised if I spend 200,000 out of the 500,000 that he costs. And if so, I think I'm fine with that. I'll have a little look. I'll see what we can do. Um, I guess that's more, yeah, more for the next episode. Because we've got t these two both cost like 180 odd thousand. And then this is like 100k. And then this one's not much, like 25k. We can probably get that one done. Uh, there's just no real upgrades for me to work with because there's nothing in packs, right? So there's no, like, there's no 82 to 88. The, so these upgrades are here for a couple days. Like, it doesn't give me anything, really. I don't need any of these players. 
And then there's just Benzema. Okay, we might get Benzema for a 92 to help the rating out, but uh, he might be expensive right now as well. In actual upgrades, uh, yeah, there's nothing really there, is there? There's no 82s to 88s or anything like that that we can actually realistically do. So that's where I'm kind of at right now. I was, do you know what? I'm really glad I didn't say it because I was going to say, no matter what icon we get here, I'm going to use it in the next weekend league. And, you know, we've added another left winger to le left wing FC. I'm just not using him. I'm sorry. I'm just not using this Ryan Giggs. There's no way. There's absolutely no way. If I was to go to a custom squad and go, ah, and just literally write in all of my left wingers and all of my left mids that we've got in this club, you can see why I will not be using this gigs. Look, man, look. <laughs> We've got so many ridiculous cards here. Even Kent can go in for now. Do we have anyone at left forward? No. Oh, wow. I haven't been using that formation. But, oh my god, bro. Look at all of these crazy cards. This is why everyone calls me left wing FC. Look at this. You can't get all of these guys into one team. This is arguably super usable. Super usable, still very usable, still kind of usable, maybe super sub material, very usable, incredibly usable, probably one of the best players on the game, and then Ryan Giggs. <laughs> so, yeah, it sucks to be me to get that card, but hey, at least we got a moment, at least we got a 94, it wasn't just a 90 rated prime in Zaggy, it's not much better than that, but for rating wise for Lengle. Um, oh, yeah, we forgot that we didn't put him into the potential Langley situation as well. That will help out, obviously. Um, guys, that I think I'm just going to wrap the episode up here. I'm not sure how long it is. I've waffled a little bit here today. Sorry about that. But uh, if we go back to our main squad right now, this has just been made up. Um, if... Whoa, what can I potentially do? Maybe we just talk about that tomorrow. I've just... I've waffled long enough here. You guys have seen me get the icon pack. You've seen Giggs enter his way into my club. He will soon be exiting my club in an SBC of some sort. That is, there is no doubt about that. I am telling you, I'm not, I'm not gonna keep him really. Just don't, I just don't see the need. Um, imagine if that was, imagine if that was 97 Zidane. Imagine how different it'd be. Imagine how happy I'd be right now. Did any of you get him? Any of you get Zidane? Did any of you get? Um, Ronaldinho or R9 or Pele or Maradona or anything. I'm curious. I'm curious. I really want to know if you got one of the big boys. Uh, but thanks for watching. I know it's late July. Hit me with a thumbs up. We said we we're shooting for 3,000 likes. I don't know why I've set you such a high target. It's ridiculous for this time of year. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Uh, subscribe as well to the channel if you're new around here. By the way, episode one just hit 800,000 views, by the way. By far and away, my biggest or my most viewed video on the channel. If we can keep doing that year on year, we're going to have a million view video at some point in the future, which excites me as we push towards 500,000 subs. And why don't you come follow me on social media, Twitter and Instagram are down below. Uh, and most importantly, I hope you'll have a lovely day. Take it easy, stay safe, stay healthy. I will catch you tomorrow in another episode. Peace.